Do you know of someone who has always been selfish and is happy? Do you know of someone who has always been on top and no one is on top of him or her and uh, that person is happy? Do you know someone who has always had an easy life, never encountered a difficulty, never encountered a problem, and is very happy? The answer is there is no such a person because there is no happiness in selfishness. There is no happiness in being on top of the world. There is no happiness in living an easy, comfortable life all the time. Because the lesson in life is very clear. We can only reach mature happiness when we recognize somebody higher than us whom we can adore and we recognize that we are not worth adoring ourselves. Tayo ay makakatanggap ng tunay na kaligayahan kapag nakilala nating merong mas malaki, merong mas maganda, merong mas dakila kaysa sa buhay natin sa kasalukuyan. Because, my dear brothers and sisters, we were born to be men and women for others. We were not born for ourselves. In fact, we were not born by our effort. We were born because of the goodness of our parents. And we were nurtured after we were born because of the goodness of other people. So we are the product of the goodness of other people. And we know that our happiness in life can only be achieved when we live for other people. And living for other people reaches its climax in martyrdom. Kaya nga po, sa unang dalawang, lib, dalawang daang taon ng Kristyanismo, na lahat ng Kristiyano ay pinapatay, ang intindi nila ay kasi dapat patayin talaga ang Kristiyano. And martyrdom was part of baptism. Martyrdom was part of embracing Christ. That is why you would understand, meron pong labindalawang apostoles. Yung isa nagbigte. Yung sampu na matay bilang martyr. Pero si Saint John na ating patron, hindi po siya namatay bilang martyr, hindi siya pinatay. Siya ho ay tumanda at namatay sa old age. Kaya nung mamatay si San Juan Evangelista ng old age, nagtatanong yung mga Kristiyano, baka hindi disciple yan. Baka hindi Kristiyano yan. Baka hindi alagad ni Kristo yan. Baka hindi apostol yan. Kasi ang intindi nila, all Christians must die. All Christians must die as martyrs. And then they started to understand the spirituality of martyrdom. And what is it? That you don't have to be killed. Sometimes, you give your blood drop by drop every day. Sometimes, you are killed slowly every day. And that is still martyrdom. What am I saying? What I'm saying is, there is no happiness without sacrifice. There is no happiness without embracing the cross. There is no happiness without living for others. There is no happiness if we do not like to give. There is no happiness if we do not like to care. And people become hateful. People become angry their whole life because they have only worshipped themselves. Sinasamba ang sarili. 
believe na believe sa sarili. At hindi lang believe na believe sa sarili, kagalit ang lahat ng namimintas. Kaaway ang lahat ng hindi kasama. It is always me or you. We cannot be together. But that is contrary to our nature. Because our nature is always to live in family, and the family is meant to live in neighborhood, and the neighborhood is meant to live in the city, and the city is meant to live in the nation, and the nation is meant to live in the world, and then we have the, the global neighborhood. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Because when the Lord told us, Come follow me, to live is to die. And to die is to give life for others. And when we give life for others, that is when we find happiness. Bakit ganito yung buhay? Ang sagot, nasa book of Genesis, alam na alam natin yun. Man and woman were created in the likeness of God. Kapag sinabi nating man and woman is created in the image and likeness of God, pakiwari natin, may ilong yung Diyos, may mata yung Diyos, may katawan yung Diyos, hindi po. Nung sinabing tayo ay nilikha, kamukha ng Diyos, inside God, there is that energy for love. Inside God, there is that fire for love. Inside God, there is that passion for love. And that passion for love can only be fulfilled by loving us. And we were created in that likeness. So ang ibig sabihin, lahat tayo, merong, nung ipinanganak tayo, meron na tayong apoy, wanting to love others. Meron na tayong passion, wanting to love others. Sabi ni Freud, chaos yan. No, it is not chaos. It is the fire of order. It is the fire of harmony because it is the fire of love. That is what the gospel says. The gospel simply says to you, if you, che if you check your DNA, if you check your chromosomes through a spiritual microscope, you're going to find an immense energy wanting to love and live for others. There is that strong energy in us. And it is inborn. It is congenital. It is genetic in every human being. But Part of living for others is stretching, arm, is stretching out your arms like this and being crucified because that is also in the DNA, in the chromosomes of all Christians. I will return to my question. Is there any selfish man who is ever happy? Is there any man on top of the world with no one on top of him who is happy? Is there any man who has never had difficulty who is happy? And the answer is no. Because the truth is, in the cross is our happiness. In loving others is our happiness. And loving is hurting Loving is martyrdom. Loving is dying for others. And when we die for something more noble, greater than ourselves, then you will find, wow, this is happiness.